Hey guys, today I want to share something very real. What I wish I knew before going for the CCD. This is not a marketing video. I am not here to just say, CCD is amazing, go take it. No, I will tell you the truth. Things that are hard, things that are surprising, things I didn't expect. So, if you are thinking about CCD or even started preparing, this is for you. It is not like CCIE. First, let me say this clearly. CCD is not like a CCIE. CCIE is hands-on. You configure, you troubleshoot, you touch the CLI. CCD is about design. You get a customer scenario, you read a lot, and you decide which technology should I use, which should I not use this one. It's like solving a real-world network problem, but on paper. That shocked me at first. I thought I could just learn some design, theory, and pass. Nope. I needed to think like a consultant. That was new to me. You need business thinking. You know what's crazy? CCD is not just about technical knowledge. You also need to think about business needs. Not every answer is the most scalable or the most redundant. Sometimes the best answer is, this is cheaper, this meets the compliance rule, this fits the timeline. When I first that in the practice exam, I was confused. I was trying to be the smartest engineer, but CCD wants the optimal solution for the real world. That's not always the most complex solution. It's a reading exam. You will read so much. Each scenario is long. You get many pages of customer info, network diagrams, business goals. And you have to stay focused for 8 hours. You don't get three questions like CCIE, but if you miss one line about an SLA or constraint, you might fail that scenario. This is where practice helps. Not just technical practice, but reading fast and understanding quickly. Study materials, what works and what doesn't. When I first started, I thought I needed every book about routing, switching and PLS security. Guess what? I got overwhelmed. Too much info, not focused. What really helped me more? Real design case studies, labs with why questions, not just how, CCD focused materials, not CCI style config books and so on. And talking to others, hearing what they thought, design is subjective and other opinions help as well. Don't memorize, understand the why. If you are memorizing technology features, stop. CCD is not about remembering comments, config syntax. It's about understanding why. Let me give you some examples that help me guys. GetVPN versus DMVPN. Someone asks, should I use GetVPN or DMVPN? Most people say, GetVPN support multicast, use that. But that's not enough. You need to ask, what is the transport? Internet or MPLS? Are there hundreds of sites or just a few? Do we need full mesh or is hub and spoke okay? That's the CCD way of thinking. Another example is OSPF versus ISAS. You hear OSPF is more common, ISS is for large networks, but stop. Ask, what is the size and growth plan of the network? Do they care about protocol simplicity or flexibility? Is IPv6 already used or coming soon? Are there multiple IGP domains? Now you are thinking like a designer, not just an engineer. Another discussion, should we use MPLS or SD-WAN? Memorizing says, MPLS is expensive, but SD-WAN is modern. Design asks, do they already have private WAN circuits? What is the SLA requirement? Do apps need quality of service, voice, video support? Sometimes SD-WAN is not the right choice, even today. Let me give you one last example. Should I use BGP or IGP for this part of the network? Don't say BGP is scalable, use BGP. Ask, do we need policy control? Will there be multi-tenancy? Is convergence speed important? CCD doesn't want you to pick the best technology. It wants you to justify your choice. That's the key skill and I wish I learned earlier. You will need mental stamina. This is not a quick exam. The CCD practical exam is 8 hours. You will go through 4 different scenarios. And it's not just knowledge, it's mental focus. I train myself like this. Practice reading long text. Sit for 2-3 hours solving full length CCD practical scenarios. Learn when to take small breaks during the exam. That helped me build the strength I needed. Otherwise, I would have just burned halfway. It's worth it, but only if you are ready. Here is the truth. CCD is not for everyone. You don't need it to be a good engineer. You don't need it to get a job. But if you want to become a network architect, if you love solving complex problems, and you want to stand up, then yes, it's worth it. But do it for the right reasons and at the right time. The myths about CCD. Before I even started my CCD journey, I heard all kinds of scary stories. They made it sound like this exam was impossible, everyone fails, etc. Most of them totally wrong. Myth number one. Only CCIEs can pass CCD exam. 
not true. Yes, having a CCIE can help you think deeply about networks, especially after Cisco added the network design part uh, to the CCIE exams. But CCD is a different game. It's about design, not configuration. You don't need to memorize common sign packs or troubleshoot in the CLI. I know engineers who never studied for CCIE passed the CCD exam on their first try. Even some of my CCD study buddies and also dozens of students passed without CCIE. How? They focused on real-world design thinking, learned how to read and interpret large scenarios, and practiced making decisions with business constraints in mind. Constraint is a limitation, basically. If you understand why you pick one technology over another and you can justify it, you have already thinking in the CCD mindset. Myth number two. It's all Cisco designs. It's not. Yes, Cisco wrote the exam. No, it's not a Cisco sales pitch. The scenarios can include Cisco-specific technologies such as HSRP, GLBP, EIGRP, DMVPN, GetVPN, but most of them are commonly used technologies in real networks. Multi-vendor network that require interoperability. Vendor agnostic solutions like BGP, policy design, MPLS architectures, or IPv6 migration strategies. The CCD is not asking which Cisco box fits here. It's asking what is the best design choice for the requirements, even if that means using something Cisco doesn't make. Myth number three. You need 10 plus years of experience. More years can help. You have seen more failures, more migrations, more customer politics, but they are not a strict requirement. I have seen people pass with five or six years of well-rounded experience because they worked on diverse projects, enterprise service provider, cloud, made actual design choices instead of just following orders, understood trade-offs between cost, performance, security, and timelines. It's not about how many years you have been in the game. It's about how much of the game you have actually played. <laughs> Very cool, right? right? <laughs> Pit number four. It's just memorizing Cisco's best practices. This one is dangerous because it sounds like logical. Of course Cisco has recommended designs, right? But here's the problem. In CCD, best practices don't always fit the scenario. Real customers have messy networks, political decisions, outdated hardware, and budget cuts. Sometimes, the best practice is impossible because of a constraint hidden in the scenario text. If you answer based on only what a book says, you will miss the real world twist in the exam is testing. Why these myths matter? Here is the thing. This myth stop talented people from even trying. They wait years thinking they are not ready, when in reality they could uh, start preparing now and be exam ready in a year or two. Don't let fear stories keep you on the sidelines. The exam is tough, yes, but it's not a magic. It's a skill set you can learn. Practice like it's the real exam. This is another important knowledge for I wish I knew before CCD, guys. Reading theory is easy. Designing under pressure is not. You need to simulate the real exam. Here is how. Pick a full-length CCD scenario you can purchase from Orhan Ergin and few other people that I will mention in the description of the video. Set two-hour timer, no goggling, for every choice. Write down why you picked it and why you didn't pick the others. That why is everything. CCD is not just about picking the right box, it's about justifying it. Afterwards, compare your solution to the official one or debate it with your study partners. Sometimes two different answers are both valid if they are backed up by strong reasoning. That's exactly how the real world works. Handling the pressure on exam day. Exam day will test more than your knowledge. It will test your nerves. Get your body clock ready. Wake up at exam day time for a week before. Eat light, heavy meals slow you down. Sleep definitely well to have an energy and remember, you don't need 100% perfection. Each scenario stands on its own. If you mess one up, move on and crash the next. Life after CCD. Passing CCD is not just about adding letters to your name. It changes how you see networks. You start speaking in business terms. Colleagues will trust you with bigger decisions. You will be in meetings where strategy is made, not just where tasks are assigned. For me, the real reward was this. When someone calls me now, it's not because they want a network. It's because they need the right network and they trust me to figure out what it is. Guys, I hope this helps. If you are thinking about CCD or even just learning network design, remember, it's a mindset. It takes time. It's a journey. I have got more videos, real example, and maybe we will break down a sample CCD scenario next. Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your study group. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Enjoy studying with Orhanagon.net.